You know, I just did this entire twid read and everything, and I just looked to see how long I was recording. I wasn't even recording. I got far as heck into this. I've just been talking to myself with no issue whatsoever. Brief recap. Okay, new dungeon, Vesper's Host. They're doing a ra they're doing a raid race for the dungeon. This is the stuff you can get. PvP stuff. Look, PvP. Solitude's returning. Now you can see what class killed you instead of what guardian rank they were. Now you'll see if 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 they were assisted by people. Also, when your team when your teammate dies, you can see what the enemy used to kill them, whether it's a hand cannon, sidearm, sniper, whatever. It'll show right by their tombstone. Mercy rules. They're fixing mercy rules. Competitive. Yep. Make your points seem like they actually matter, not like a whole bunch of other stuff, especially with your placements. Lobby balancing. They're fixing lobby balancing. Doing a whole thing with it. Sandbox changes. You can't you can't really spam too much of your freaking crouch, which is annoying to face. We're seeing primaries, mostly Ro Rose Kavaz stuff and Elsie's rifle with Ace kind of behind it. And all the others kind of in this nice little margin. Changes, nerfs to adaptives, adaptive autos, and high impact pulses. Okay, changing changing them. Buffs. Guess what's being buffed? All these. Heavy bursts are getting a crit damage increase. So heavy burst pulse rifles versus high impact pulse rifles would be a substantial change. Um, precision hand cannons and heavy burst hand cannons are getting buffs, so get yourself a warden's law now. Uh, sniper flinch is reducing the camera roll, so it doesn't feel like you're constantly having your camera over here, but your bullet's right there. Change to this heavy. I like how they mentioned special. They mentioned special. The special change, but then they show the actual value of special. Because this was just focused on primary. So this is what they're doing. They're gonna make PV uh, using heavy grenade launchers feel better in PVP. Trials, a bunch of changes. This is the Master of Revenant. Here you go. Okay. Yes, we're getting another arc heavy burst hand cannon. This is the rolls and everything. I would probably go for a rapid hit Zen moment because, well, it's just that going to be that good, especially if I'm using arc. Okay, next thing. Heavy burst, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm hmm. Aggressive scouts will get a little bit of an increase. Stuff for, you know, this. And if you are a solo and you match a duo, reducing the stratification of F to allow duos to match fire, match trios more often, with the goal of providing loss forgiveness for any solo that gets brought in to fill up the game alongside the duo if they complete the match. Yeah, if you get matched against a three stack and you're with a duo, you have a loss forgiveness per chance. So not only can, are you going to be running, you know, mercy, but you're going to be doing that. Okay, Ch changes, S sneak peeks. Okay, this is where we were about roughly where we were at when I realized that I didn't start recording. <clears throat> Future trials changes, sneak peeks. Now isn't the time to share the details. We give a short preview of what you expect to work on when it comes to heresies, trials of Osiris rework. I add a new aesthetic rewards to trials, including new armor set for each class, a new ship, a sparrow, ghost, and exclusive emblem. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Make the challenger pool less of an all or for nothing experience that prioritizes flawless or bust gameplay. You know what we start from the flawed card rewards to reward win streaks, making it feel like now a waste to play even if you fall at the gates. We want to prove the the story of flawless aesthetic rewards so that high school players can flex appropriately. Seeing a player with specific armor glow or a new trials emblem should mean something and not just a generic trophy. Oh my god, actually making playing this feel like it should mean something? However, for trials to succeed, there's also a need for, need also need to be something for everyone. We want to bring additional players into trials by offering them an alternative experience, more like Iron Banner, but in terms of the loot chase, but for 3v3. The focus in here is making it rewarding to play, and not necessarily reliant on almost entirely on wins. To attract players, otherwise avoid the current iteration of the trials due to because of the perceived high stakes nature. We also want to update Dominion to be more in line with the modern sandbox. For example, we are experimenting with making the zone appear later in each round and increasing the time it takes to capture the zone among other potential changes and beyond. Trials isn't the only thing that will be getting a major overhaul in Heresy, where we're also making big changes to the way we organize and schedule our playlist. We're building our skill tracking system and making substantial updates to the way rank is rewarded in our competitive stuff. <clears throat> okay. 
Sandbox, we are investigating the additional trial specific tuning for ability uptime. We do not have details to share at the point. As soon as we have it narrowed narrow down, we are communicating. We're also looking at a crucible focus tuning for Storm Edge Super and the Knucklehead Radar Exotic Armor piece. The modified supremacy mode hardware will also be returning to labs after Revenant's first Iron Banner in weeks. Playlist organization. We're going to focus on a good variety of options with minimal overlaps in terms of experience without splitting the population into many individual silos. Our goal is to use what we've learned over the last year and aim to consolidate and solidify our playlists and options that better represent the experience of Destiny PvP without negatively affecting the matchmaking times or the connection quality. Iron Banner. We're planning on offer more re relaxed variants of Iron Banner with minimal matchmaking stratification and a focus on a less serious game more like Fortress Eruption and an improved ver version of Tribute. We want to improve Iron Banner experience, especially for the casual and, mac and mixed skill fire teams. So we're investigating better sorting fire teams based on skill variants present within them, so we can more effectively differentiate between an actual highly skilled stack fire team and a casual mixed group of players or friends or clanmates playing together. Warring fire teams better in general for, to incentivize grouping up, like we've begun to do in trials, skill and rank changes. We want our skill system to be more transparent and easily to understood so players can get a better feeling where they sit relative to other players for matchmaking purposes. Competitive performance gains should feel like they should make sense, and the, la and the ladder you climb should be more easily understood. So we're going to move back to a system where player performance in match has more direct impact on how much you gain or lose. Winning or losing will always be the biggest factor in your points, but your performance can help give you boost, rewards, or offset a close loss. And each player should easily be able to understand why they earned the amount they did at the end of each game. Speaking of competitive, we also want to improve collisions gameplay and investigate ways to make the matches feel fairer and make the game mechanics more predictable. The current examples include making contesting the zone flips, testing the zone flips it to a neutral so neither team gains points if both teams are inside it, making zone rotations less random, preventing the next zone from spawning next to the active zone, experimenting with different timings for zone moving. We're also going to be adding a variant of collision into private matches and crucible labs for players to experiment with. The zone takes much longer to capture and awards a single point, then rotates once it's been capped. Um, new fire team categories for Encore being added, you know, let's do secrets, exile catalyst, mining nodes, all of the above in the speed one. Okay. Art of the week. Movie of the week. And that's it. Um, that's everything we have for this week. We'll be back next week with more details around it so you have a best understanding of what's to come, including one article on Wednesday focused on the artifact. Until then, prepare yourself, gather materials, and finish those challenges and triumphs that you may have left. We're almost there, Destiny Community. So that was the twig. Now, what am I interested in? One, this arc pulse, this. Hmm. This heavy burst arc hand cannon. One, I think it'll be good for my freaking um, thing. The fact that it can also have Dragonfly and Vorpal and Zen Moment on it, I think will be cool. Having four times and Zen Moment, cool. Four times and Head Seeker, even better. A rapid hit Head Seeker, rapid hit Zen Moment, very good. Whatever these two perks are, they will be interesting. Uh, buffs and everything, you know, one, to aggressive hand, to heavy burst hand cannons, thank you. Um, nerfs to kind of, you know, oldies. Okay, alright, I get you. Um, the sniper, uh, camera roll flinch against players. Reducing that? Thank you. Reduce it by, like, another little bit, please. Um, I like how the only special weapon you brought up is this. Oh, and trace rifles. Sorry. Don't care about the trace rifles. Changes to lobby balancing, competitive, updating the mercy rules, adding solitude, giving you a better visual of what the heck it is you're seeing. Just considering how you can kind of make things look kind of different depending on what it is. Um, the contest mode for this, basically, contest mode will be enabled for 48 hours. The winners of, of, of this race are the first three fire teams to fully loot the final chest for this thing. Okay. There you go.
there you go. What you will get, you'll earn a special emblem and you'll have the exotic. Yeah, during contest mode, it's a guaranteed drop. So you have a guaranteed chance of getting Icebreaker. Okay, there you go. I wonder what the seasonal exotic is going to be because that will be interesting to see. But Red Faction, this video is actually not going to be as long as I thought it was going to be because, well, um, I was an idiot and I forgot to hit record and now I did. So there we go. We got this. Vesper's Host launches October 11th with Remnant launching on October 8th. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see y'all later.